Good day, my name is Christy. I'm the group fitness director at the Huntington YMCA, personal trainer and instructor. Today we're gonna to be doing a light cardio workout or a version for seniors or any population that's just getting back into the fitness level or industry. A chair is always advised, so if you lose your balance, make sure it's a sturdy chair. This probably isn't the best one, but if you have a dining room chair, um, a ladder back chair, or you could use a countertop. So we're gonna use this as a prop just to help if we need. But like anything, we need to start to warm up. And warming up would just be getting that heart rate up one or two beats, raising that body temperature. And don't worry about how high you lift your legs, just move. If at any time I'm, I need to, I'm gonna grab onto this, but let's try and keep moving, keep breathing, and have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna take this just a little further as I add a little heel dig and I'm adding an arm. Big deep breath, let's do four more. Three, two, Let's change that arm, same foot, push the wall away. If you have any shoulder issues, take it down to the floor. Big deep breath, let's go. Four more, three, two. Now I'm gonna add a slight knee lift so I can start tapping the floor. I can hold on to this chair. Or if you're able, I can add just a full stability lift here. But again, note that this is here. This is a knee lift. This is a knee lift. So let's go four more, three more, two, and I wanna take you back to a march. So let's get those arms going again, shaking them out. Let's go shoulder and down, shoulder. Now look what's right here if I need it, up and down. Are you ready to move with me? Think about it, we're going up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. Don't have to shake, don't have to clap, but it makes it a little more fun. Be, big deep breath, let's go four more. Three, that's you breathing. Two, and one. Let's move a little bit to the side and front. Don't worry about coordination. Don't wanna use those arms, here it is. Need this, there it is, four more. Three, are you breathing a little harder now? You should be. Last one, march again. Four, four, three, two, and up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, back. You wanna add an arm here? Push, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, four more. Three, two, last one, march in place. Four, three, now let's take that leg out to the side again. Side, how about this one to the front? Side, front, wanna add another arm? I could do a bicep curl, tricep pass, four more. Three, two, take it back to a march. Four, three, are you ready to move again? Let's go. Up, two, three, four, now you can make this bigger. You can start marching further and taking it back, but know that if you need this, there it is. How about two more? Big deep breath, and last one. All right, take it back to a march. I'm always taking it back to a march. We can also make this march bigger. All right, remember side, heel, side. Wanna add both arms? Need this, use it. Back and in. Big deep breath. Four more. Three, your body should be much warmer now. Two, and on one, back to the march. Now I'd like to take us around in a circle. Are you ready? Here we go. Four, three, two, and back to your spot. March, march, don't worry if you didn't get there. Let's try it again. Around, two, three, four. Back to the march. One more time, let's go. One, two, three, Four. And we're back to where we started. So I'm going back to the heel digs and I want to start to take this down just a little. So in four more, I'm going to slow down in three, but in two, I got to keep moving because I can't just come to a dead stop because I may end up getting dizzy. Here is this if you need it. So in four, in three, two, one, take a big deep breath. 
hold on as needed and we're gonna come around behind the chair. So I'm gonna go into a calf raise and I'm using this just lightly for balance. If you need to grab on, grab on. If I could take one hand off, fantastic. If I could take both hands off, great. Balance challenge, four more. So I'm lifting up on the ball of the feet, pressing the heels down, two more. Last one, let's take this to a squat. Feet hip width apart. Squat is another bad word. People are like, I can't squat. So think about your hip bone. And if I put my hands here and push back, this is a squat. Are my knees moving? No. My knees are a hinge. I'm sitting back. We want our quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes to do the work. Thus, why my feet are a little wider. Ideally, hold on the whole time, push back. So if you see my toes lifting, it's because all the weight is on the back side and you actually could lift the toes. Not saying that you're doing it, you just could. So I sit and lower. So let's take this and add the calf raise. Squat, calf raise. Now you can call this a light workout if you want, but this is functional training, things we need for everyday life, no matter what our age is. Don't like adding that calf raise? Don't do it. Could you give me two more? Last one, bring those feet together, shake anything out as needed. <sighs> Big deep breath. Let's take one leg behind, find the ball of your foot, and you always want a light, soft bend to your knee. If I'm locked out here, I know that looks beautiful, but I'm putting all the weight on my lower back. So I'm just doing a slight leg raise. I contract my glute as I go. Give me two more. And then I'm gonna take it out to the side. So just open and close, open and close. Again, do you see the bend in my knee? I might be exaggerating that, but I'm trying to avoid us getting so locked out in the weight on our lower back. If you've had hip replacements, you never wanna take that leg across the midline of your body. So we're gonna circle out. Big deep breath. So if you find yourself doing this or this, think shoulders down and back, chest open and lifted and tall. So we're gonna repeat that. Leg lift, two, three, four more. Four, three, two, out to the side, eight seven, six, get tall, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee in front of you also to stand from the side, circle and circle. That way you don't have any risk of hitting that chair because your range of motion should be growing. Now let's add the inward movement here. And I'm still keeping it Coming from the side in, I avoid crossing the midline of my body. And give me two more. And after this last one, we're gonna shake everything out. Always advise water. So if you've got water or a place to access water quickly, let's go get a drink real quick. And we will repeat all of this on the other side. That's where you would edit, right? Yep, you can just take a break for a second. Yeah. Say, okay, we're back water. Yeah. Which I actually probably could use water, but. Do you have anything? No, I think it's empty. I think when I left the other day, and I realized it has Marshall, so I probably should turn it so you don't see the Marshall. Oh, there's one, one drip. <laughs> so I'm gonna repeat all that. My problem is, will I remember everything I did on the other side? And because I'm talking, I know my breathing was harder. Maybe it's uh, slightly different. It's just think of it as like a fire. That's right. That's right. All right. So you tell me. I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, just reference that we just, you know, they are. Okay. So you got, your, you got your water, and we're ready to continue. We're going to take this to the other side, so that way we lead with the opposite leg. But don't worry if you forget whether it was left or right. And don't worry if it's exactly the same thing. But even when you got your water, I want you to keep moving. We can't just dead stop. So I've got to get that heart rate up just a little bit more. So here's our march. Remember, if I need this, here it is. 
I also want you to know you can repeat this workout as many times as you like, and we hope you do. So I'm gonna to start to add that heel dig, heel down, toe up, and I'm starting to swing those arms forward and back. So here's four more, here's three more, here's two, last one, take it back to a march. If you swing the arms, you're gonna get that heart rate up just a little bit more, but don't worry about it if that's not something you're comfortable with. Four, three, back to a heel dig. Now I'm raising my arms a little higher, Again, if you have any kind of issues with your shoulders, you just keep those arms down here or you actually could curl in. So four more, three, two. All right, out to the side. So I could hold, I could add this arm, I could add both arms and press, curl and press. So I'm pushing the air away. If you have light weights at home or a can of some sort of soup or corn or beans, you could grab that. If your grip doesn't allow that, just think resist and press, push and pull. And I'm still contracting and using my muscles. So let's take that back to a march, back to our base here and get ready to move. Are you ready? Here we go. Up. Two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back. It's fun to clap, big deep breath. Two, three, four, back, two, three, four. One more, take it back to the basic march. So again, if I wanna keep those arms moving, I'm gonna keep that heart rate up a little bit. Grab that chair as you need to. Four more, three, let's move again, go up. Two, three, four. Now you can probably move a little further. You're going several feet further forward and back. For the sake of this workout, I'm staying close to the chair, just in case I need it. One more, one more, here we go. Up, two, three, four, back to a march. Now remember, your march doesn't have to be here, but if you wanna take that intensity up, that's what you wanna do. Let's go back to the heel dig. And let's change those arms, add a little push. Push that air away. Pull back, scapular retraction. Breathe, push, push. Give me four more. Here's four, three. All right, let's take it to the side. So here and out. So I could come in and out again. I could take my arms up and down. I could hold on to the chair. Four more, three. Two, take it back to the basic march. Four, three, all right, let's move that one more time. Go up, two, three, four, back. Three more if you can, up. If at any time you need a break, just keep moving. One more, one more. All right, here we go. Knee lifts, so I could start with a tap. I could raise them a little higher. I could take my hand off and tap here. Feeling a little unsteady? Grab that chair. So in four more, in three, two, all right, back to the march. We're gonna take a circle around. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and back to your spot. Did you get there that quick? If not, don't worry about it. So in four, three, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and I'm back here. Did you make it? Let's go. Four, three, one more time, guys. One, two, three, four. All right, we're back here to our base, yes? We're marching. Now, can you take those arms up? If your shoulders bother you, where do we go? Here or here? Just keep moving with me, whatever works for you. So in four, three, one more time, forward, go. Up, two, three, four, back. Now let's add. Tap, 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 tap. I'm holding on or I'm adding an arm. But I'd like to take a front raise here where you go about shoulder height and I'm still close to my chair or my counter as needed. So again, did you hear the word counter? You could use a countertop. Think about your kitchen. You can stay close there. So in four more, three, 
two, I want to slow this down a little. So I got to keep moving. And then I got to start to take that pace down, but I can't just come to a dead stop because we're going to work behind the chair. So I'm slowing it down, taking a big deep breath and big deep breath up. And I'm now going to move behind the chair. As you approach the chair again, you want hands lightly here, shoulders down and back, and I'm going into those calf raises. Again, something you could do on any surface that's at least about middle or belly button and lower to hold on to. So in four more, three, two, remember that squat? So I think about my hip bone, push back, hands here, and I sit back and up. So again, knees are a hinge, hips are a hinge. I wanna use everything around them to strengthen my knees. Most people say, oh, this hurts because they're doing this. And if we tried to get up and out of a chair doing this, I think we would fall forward. So you have to sit back and up. Now I'm adding that calf raise, do you have to? Absolutely not. Squat and lift. Four more, crown of the head to the ceiling. Three, squeeze those glutes. Two, last one, feet together, shake it out. So now I did the left leg on the other side. I'm doing right this time. Don't worry about it if you forgot. Your body will tell you if this leg says, oh, I'm tired. You probably worked it on the other side. So again, soft knee. I want to avoid locked out. So I'm sitting into it just a little. Two more, and then we'll take it out to the side. Always avoid going any higher than 30 or 40 degrees. So if I do this, my back's gonna rock with me, and it might look pretty for that leg to go up, but I'm doing more harm than good to my back. So in four more, three, are you nice and tall with me? Two, one, bring that knee up, and I'm gonna go out and in, out, and in. Four more, three, two, last one. All right, repeat, lift and lower. Squeeze those glutes, pull that navel to spine. Big deep breath, four more, three. Could I do this with just fingers, two, and out to the side. If not, you grab hold. So I open and close. And again, think of ab and adduction, taking it away or back in. Big deep breath, tighten up here because we tend to go, oh, I'm tired. So I need to get back up into my nice tall spine, shoulders down and back, chest open and lifted. And then let's go back to that knee circle. So I'm going out. And this is our second set of these. But again, as I talked when we worked on the other side, we need to do the inward motion as long as I don't go past the midline of my body. So I'm going to start here and circle in. So again, you'd still be behind your chair. I just wanna show you the movement of the hip. Does everyone's hips move like this? No, so don't worry about it. If your range is to here, that's perfectly fine. So give me two more of these. And on the last one, I'm gonna put my feet back together, shaking my legs out, and go back to a calf raise, slow and down. So I wanna take one arm up and down, up and down. Can you give me two more? And then we're gonna switch the arm as I start to slow this down just a little to get into a stretching segment. So if you continue to watch these workouts and you just want to do stretching with us, fast forward. Two more and last one. So one more time, I want to take a big deep breath. I want to shake everything out and I want you to get a drink of water as we prepare to go into stretching. So take your break. <sighs> Woo! All right, so now I go back here putting a towel here because I'm, if someone can't touch their toes, just like you saw, be I, I'm going to be beside it and then I'm going to sit down. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep getting out of your range. 
All right. So I'm going to come beside it to start. You ready? So we just got your water and let's start to go into a little active stretch. We're not ready to just dead stop yet. So assisted or assisted, I'm going to take my right leg in front of me. I'm going to flex here. Now, remember we talked about a squat, you push the hips back. So this could be my stretch. This could be my stretch and I could sit even further. What I need to do though is keep that chest up, push back, big deep breath, inhale and exhale. Ideally, we should hold a stretch 30 to 60 seconds. That's a long time in our life, right? So all I did was take my leg back and you don't want to be too far back because I never want to pull or stretch anything too much to the point of where it will hurt. And then I'm going to take one arm up and bring it back down to the chair or countertop. Other arm up and down. So we need to do this on the other side. Left leg out in front, big inhale. Push those hips back. And again, I can hold on. If you feel you've got your balance here, hands on hips or thighs, safest position, as long as chest and chin are up. I have taken my toe to the ceiling to flex. If that doesn't work for you, somewhere between floor and ceiling. Come up out of that one more time. Leg goes back and stretch. So I'm gonna take one arm up. I'm gonna take the other arm up if I can. Interlace, reach, stretch. And I'm gonna bring my feet together, do big arm circles. Three more, two. And then on the last one, I'm gonna to move to a seated position. I find that having a towel or a belt, or does anybody wear ties anymore, a men's tie, can help you with stretching. When I sit down, did you see that? I want to push back, hold on. Here's the towel if I need it. I also now want to sit nice and tall at the front edge of the chair. Think about the letter H. So I hold on, I slide down, and I'm still holding to the side of this chair. Big deep breath, inhale, exhale, switch, so I can hold on to the actual chair. Seat to the side, I lengthen to the ceiling, and I think of stretching from hip to fingertip, as opposed to this, I'm slicing through that air. When I come here, I can grab the chair, hinge forward. Come back up, you can place your fingers at the base of the spine, hinge forward from the hip. If you can, you release and you reach toward the floor. Place a hand on each thigh, round the spine, come up out of this. The same seated stretch we did, I'm not, or standing, I'm gonna do seated. Have trouble touching the toes? Place your towel here. I also can get a deeper back and chest stretch because I'm pulling up and in. But you also can do the traditional opposite arm, big deep breath, bend knee as needed, hinge. If I can, I take the opposite hand behind me, knuckles face the spine, turn and glance over that back shoulder. Again, golfers, tennis players, we need to have this mobility. Come back center, both hands, lift. Always keep that chin or head above your heart, round your spine as you come up. And I'm gonna stomp or shake this out. From here, we'll do the other side. Big inhale. On the exhale, I'll start here. Reach and stretch. Stretching is so important. If you do nothing on any given day, just stretch. Go to a doorway and place your hands on either side and just open out and stretch. So here comes the extended leg, assistance as needed. And I can pull back, chest up, shoulders down and back because the aging process and everything we do these days makes us round here. We need this. Even driving the car, you feel those shoulders rounding in, pull them back. If you don't need the assisted stretch or the assistance of a towel, or belt, you can come here. And again, if you can, opposite hand behind you, turn, glance, head above the heart. Big deep breath, come back center bow. Can you pull the toe towards you? If not, what do you need to do? Bend your knee, bring it a little closer to you. 
Might not look as pretty, but it doesn't matter. Hand on each thigh, round your spine, come up out of that. Big deep breath as I center here. And I place my hands here and think of turning your head toward the right as if your ears going past your shoulder. Big inhale on the exhale, head comes center. Shoulders down and back. Sit tall on that chair. Glance to the left. Again, big inhale on the exhale, come center, and let's think of ear to shoulder. Might not touch. It can't be cheat, but you could do this. And come back center, big inhale. On the exhale, try the other side. Come back center, let's release those hands and do shoulder rolls up and down and back, up and down and back. And I wanna keep making this bigger if I can. If I have any limitations, I go where I can. But we will never be able to reach to the top of the shelf if we always stop right here, yes? So let's try, big deep breath, big inhales and exhale. And I now wanna prepare you to stand up as you take your feet a little wider. Squeeze those glutes. I'm gonna lift from here, but if I need the chair, it's right here. Come up out of that. One more big deep breath up. And then give yourselves a round of applause for a job well done. Have a great day.